There's an oil boom going on right now, not in Saudi Arabia or Kuwait or any of those places, but 600 miles north of Montana, in Canada, Alberta, in a town called Fort McMurray, where this time of year, the temperature sometimes zooms up to zero. The oilmen up there aren't digging holes in the sand and hoping for a spout. They're digging up dirt, dirt which is saturated with oil. They're called oil sands. And if you've never heard of them, you're in for a big surprise because the reserves are so vast in the province of Alberta that they'll help solve America's energy needs for the next century. Within a few years, the oil sands are likely to become more important to the United States than all the oil that comes to us from Saudi Arabia. 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, vehicles which look like prehistoric beasts move across an Arctic wasteland extracting the oil sands. There's so much to scoop, so much money to be made. There are 175 billion barrels of proven oil reserves here. That's second to Saudi Arabia's 260 billion. But it's only what companies can get with today's technology. The estimate of how many more barrels of oil are buried deeper underground is staggering. Listen to Shell Canada chief Clive Mather. We know there is much, much more there. The total estimates could be two trillion or even higher. Two trillion? Two trillion. That, that's, the, that's the number with a T? That's the number with a T. This is a very, very big resource. Very big? That's eight times the amount of reserves in Saudi Arabia. The oil sands are buried under forests in Alberta the size of Florida. The oil here doesn't come gushing out of the sand the way it does in the Middle East. The oil is in the sand. It has to be dug up and processed. This mine in general will be in operation for about 25 years. Rick George, the Colorado-born CEO of Suncor Energy, took us into his strip mine for a tour. So Bob, this is what uh, the oil sand star looks like. It's, uh, it's a very rich, uh, very pliable kind of a soil. Now, when I squeeze it, why doesn't oil come out? Well, because it's not warm enough. Uh, if you add this to hot water, you'll yeah. start the separation process and, and you'll see the oil come to the top of the water and you'll see sand drop to the bottom. It's, I mean, it's, it looks like topsoil, doesn't it? It, it does, but it, it, it is oil. It looks like topsoil, but all it grows is money. <laughs>